Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe and like this video. Those two things really help me make this video happen. Today's an exciting day because, wait, let's pause. Are you subscribed? Okay, thanks. Anyway, today's an exciting day because we are going to the country of Po for the day. Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own. I have this camera and you watching. So grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up on last week's vlog. I explored more of Nice, including hiking up to an old castle, which had spectacular views of the water and city below. At no surprise to anyone, this made me hungry, where I indulged in more French baking, a pain au chocolat, and an espresso. P.S. You can help support this channel by buying me a coffee or two, and see the link in the description below for more details. Okay, back to the video. But before we go there, my Airbnb host recommended that I go to Esvelage, which is a medieval fortress and old castle. The only thing is, she has recommended I take these buses that according to Google Maps don't exist. I have been really competent getting around Paris, Barcelona, Madrid, Valencia. I've got myself here thanks to Google Maps data and my phone and because my phone is telling me to go a different direction, gotta look both ways before you cross the street, I'm not sure I'm gonna get there. So it's actually like 7 20 a.m. My god given alarm clock woke me up at 6 a.m. so I'm feeling a little tired but we're doing okay. We got breakfast in me, a little coffee in me. We're gonna take the tram from near where I'm staying to Max Barrel, which she says I don't need to go to, but according to the more updated maps, because she has a printed map, I don't trust it. I trust my host, but also she's not the one who's touring around town exploring. So let's go to Es Village missed a tram because I didn't have a ticket and at this time in the morning there was like six gentlemen checking tickets on the tram but there is a machine here that you can buy it's 150 euro for a solo ticket which is really cheap compared to Paris which was like 380 and then I'm pretty sure you just need to stamp your card and validate it before you get on the train because basically this is just a ticket that I could use at any time my Airbnb host told me that there's 70 minutes valid which is amazing because in Paris, it's not. <laughs> it's like a one, one, it's done, one and done. Just got a forty dollar coin. <laughs> Almost just got a forty dollar coin. <laughs> My heart's racing and I'm trying not to cry. Now I have to get back on the tram and I hope I have it all correct. Back to my story. So those gentlemen were on the stop where I was trying to buy a ticket. I bought a ticket, I validated it at the train station, and then when I got on or tram, I guess it is. When I got on, they were at the next stop and checked everyone's tickets. My ticket doesn't have ink on it when I validated it, like the machine's out of ink, but I guess it's a code enough that you can see it. So he wanted to see my ID. Thankfully, I have my passport on me today only because I'm going somewhere, like another country. And then he took it and was like, come with me to the next stop. But I was like, bro, you got my passport. Like, I don't, he, I don't like when people take my stuff because I need that and then once we got off the stop he checked it again it was fine it was validated it's not a 40 euro but my heart is racing and I'm just so anxious now which is not fun when I'm trying to travel but I did find the bus stop I wanted I'm just trying to see if there's a brakery that has a wool shroom 
looks like there's no like coffee shops. There's boulangeries here, but they don't have washrooms. So I know it's just anxiety talking and you maybe don't want to hear about this, but I get like nervous pee and that dude just got my heart racing. <laughs> Not in the comfortable way. <laughs> so I'll just stand and if I have to pee, I get off the bus and uh, figure it out. We have made it to Es Village. I caught the bus from Boyer, or you would pronounce it in English, Boyer. It was just the station that was closest to me, and that Google Maps actually recognized it was coming at 8.09 a.m. It is now 8.33, so it was about a 24 minute ride. But you're going like up a mountain. <laughs> so if you're someone who gets car sick, <laughs> good luck. Sure, but I think that fortress at the top is where I want to go to. Bear with my breath as I walk up the stairs. They, of course, have turned this all into restaurants, there's a cafe, a hotel, but there's nobody because the tourism office doesn't even open until 9 a.m. So here I am just exploring little fortress doors. <laughs> look, look how small these doors are. I'm five foot four-ish and they're smaller than I. Just, just wait. Look at this. This is insane. The houses go so far up too. There's houses all the way up here. I'm getting warm, gotta take my sweater off. There was tickets for Radin Exotic, Exotic Garden, I translated in my head too. I don't think I need a ticket, <laughs> but basically on the track we're on. I just want to say there's no one. There's workers. It is so nice and peaceful and was worth a 6 a.m. wake up call for. We have the construction of Notre Dame, Notre Dame de la Ascension, which began in 1764. And it was completed and cons consecrated, I guess it became official, in 1772. But it looks like it's under restoration right now because their sign said, help us restore. There we are. I guess they haven't figured out any kind of dolly system to bring up bags of food and wine. So I guess it's this guy's job.
you can tell though, it's from a different time. All the sidewalks are sloped. All the doors, all the tea. Kind of small, shorter than I. But it's basically like this little maze. Nineteen thirties, and this was the first time people ever had running water coming up into the village. Before then, they relied on tanks and people carrying water up into the village to refill the tanks for the people. Just paid six euros to enter the exotic garden, which I thought I wasn't going to do, but it seems like to get to the very, very top. You do have to pay the six euros, but it's just so quiet. And just wait till you see this view. We are at the top of the terrace and my goodness, early bird gets the worm. There is one other couple up here. You can hear the birds chirping. The air has such a nice fresh smell to it. We're gonna go look at the view. It's not that warm out, but I keep burning this my scalp, so we've got our hat on. And I think it's only fitting that we enjoy a pan au chocolat with this view. This is where I wish I had a book. I could stay up here for a long time. It's quite magical. Just as I began to exit the castle and village, it definitely became busier. It's only 9.50, so it's about an hour later. It seems like the gates opened at 9 a.m. and that's why I was able to get in because I walked around the village. Just perfect timing. Someone's on my side after this morning's event. And uh, a shop owner who I quickly popped into to look at her, her she has paintings and jewelry and clothing. She told me around 11 o'clock it gets busy, so that makes sense. We're gonna head back into the village. My Airbnb host did say that this was where perfume was made, and that is why it smells so good. We'll go back down, either try and find the perfume or the bus to fancy ass hotel called Chateau de la Chevrolet Bois. You want to take those stairs and that starts to go up into the village and you can go all the way up into the terrace. Ah, here's the perfume. Fragonard. I was told to check this out. I also finally learned how to say I don't speak French. Je parle plus français. I learned it in Spanish, but I was just kind of being lazy here, to be honest. So now I can finally say, you know, speak French, and then they'll switch to English. I can't wink either. Fun fact. <laughs> here behind me is a tourism office of the as village. It has bathrooms for use, which are 50 euros. You can do card, though. A lot of the bathrooms are doing more card if you don't have change, which I really appreciate. My idea was to take the 112 bus, but doesn't come... <laughs> until 11.30, which is a long time. 
So instead what we're going to do is not get hit by this car first, is we're gonna catch the number 83 bus. Whoa. The 83 bus, which I think comes at 1040, which would be in 30 minutes, and it takes not a long time. We're gonna go to the train station and catch the train, which is like five minutes. So maybe not as iconic or scenic, but definitely faster than waiting an hour and a half again. Down below here is a Fregnade factory and the smells that are just coming off are incredible. And we're just gonna wait for the bus. And while I wait, I'm going to sit and hydrate and eat the rest of my crystal. Okay, so we made it down to the train station. We bought a ticket from Ez, just the train station, to But there's no one here. There's no sign that says, but I just went upstairs to try and look at, I can catch the 100 bus, but I've already bought a ticket. And then I just helped some English speaking humans to help them get up to Ez Village. And then they told me they came from me this direction towards me. So I'm thinking that's how I get to I think I'll just get on the next train. They told me they come like every five, ten minutes, but now why is everyone going downstairs to the other side of the track? I think we just get on. I get a fine, I get a fine. Oh here's a sign. Oh and uh Welcome to Just to give you an idea, 